Cosmos. Today I'll be talking about the May Pegamast stacks and showing you some of my piano and even showing you my lizard too. The first dinosaur today is May. May means sound asleep. It was two feet long and only weighed a few pounds. It was probably omnivorous and lived in the early Cretaceous time period. May was found in the sleeping position of modern birds. It was probably covered by ash and lava whenever it was asleep. May also has one of the smallest dinosaur names. May was found in the Yixian Formation in southeastern China. The next dinosaur I want to talk about today is the Pegamastax. Pegamastax means thick jaw. It was two feet long and weighed about five pounds. It was found in the woodlands of South Africa and lived in the early Jurassic time period. The Pegamastax had spikes on its back. Those spikes are not like stegosaur spikes, but long and thin. The Pegamastax was found in the 1960s and put in the Harvard University archives, but discovered by Paul Serino in 2012 and also named Pegamastax. At school last year, I made a model of the Pegamastax for Innovation Day. This is the model. Me and my friend Ashton Goodenough made this model, and it has the spikes on its back, and it even had a crest on the front of its snout. And then it also had the four fangs in the front of its mouth. The Pegamastax was a herbivore. I'm about to play one of the versions of Jurassic Park on the Piano by John Williams. This is one of my favorite songs on the piano. I've been playing the piano for about three years. So here it is. or a cousin of a dinosaur, is my bearded dragon lizard Louie. He grows to be about a foot to two foot long, and he eats salad, mealworms, and crickets. Louie also has spikes from his head to his tail, and has a beard that he uses to scare off predators that has spikes on it too. He can use air and blow that beard out to make it really big. He also has big legs to help him run really fast. The difference between a lizard and a dinosaur is that lizards have s have legs that bend and dinosaurs have legs that are straight. <laughs> now he's using me as a stick because he's used to having sticks that he can walk on out in the wild, but he's using me as a stick right now and it's kind of funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, he, he likes to walk around and he likes to climb on things a lot. <laughs> Get him down. I can't. I gotta say this on camera. Grab him. I got I don't grab lizards, remember? Uh, okay. By the way, my dad does not grab this lizard. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. And this will be a blooper, I promise you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is silly. This lizard is the silliest lizard in the whole world. Okay. Louie, let's go. <laughs> Drip to Australia. Let's go. Let's go to Australia. Let's go to Australia. Let's go to Australia. No, you gotta go down lower. <laughs> lower, higher. Lower. Right. Turn. <laughs> Be free. Be free. Bearded Dragon's scientific name is Pogana Viticeps. They also change color 
because of the temperature or for other reasons too. They also have spikes on their hips too. And they have long legs to where they can run really fast. And I was wanting to run right now because usually whenever they're out in the wild they like to walk on sticks and logs too. So he's kind of fast and he really likes to be in the sand out in the desert of Australia. Bearded dragons were brought to America in the 1990s. So now I have one of my own and his name is Louie.